Did we need more fixing tint colours? No. But they did release new nude shades. They finally listened to us. Two shades only though, so it's vanilla cream and rose latte. As always, I will be doing swatches of these two tints on my lips and also doing comparisons as well to the coexisting uh, lineup of shades available. I do have almost all of them. I'm missing the Melange Rose and Apple Carrot. I did pick it up. I I caved, okay. <laughs> Couple of people wanted to know if this was close, like visually. Ginger Milk Tea and Midnight Moth were probably like the closest shade, so I will be doing live swatches and comparisons for that as well. Also, currently, I'm not wearing any of the two nude shades. I was wearing Dusty Beige, if you're wondering. Anything about what's on my face, why not have you all in the description box below. So out from the box, this is how it looks like. Standard soft matte finish packaging. Everything is the same, even the applicators. The only difference, because I believe this vanilla cream and rose latte shades are limited editions if I'm like 90% sure, is that the font color is different. Oh, the standard lineup, this is Dusty Beige. It's white and this is like nudie brown, light brown kind of color. So other than that, everything else is the same. If you've been on my channel before, you know that I love the fixing tints. I love the formula matte, dries down, and it doesn't really stain your mask either. So right now, we shall get into vanilla cream. This is one layer of vanilla cream on me and you can tell that this is truly a my lips but better color. It just amps up your lip color by a little bit. I think this vanilla cream shade leans more towards orangey beige with a hint of pink. So I think this is a very beautiful color, very suitable for daily wear. Of course, I've swatched both vanilla cream and rose latte. So I think these two colors up front, I'll be honest, they are really pretty colors very suitable for days where you don't want to wear makeup like heavy makeup it's still that dry matte finish but i feel that this applies ever so slightly just a little bit thinner than the rest but still offers that very good coverage which i like also it doesn't stain the back of my hand or doesn't stain your mask either so it's still the same standard formula so let's go in with one more layer This is vanilla cream, two layers, and this is how it looks like. Honestly, I feel that for these colors, layering up with two layers, I don't really see much of a difference. I think that one layer alone by itself, it looks really, really good. Of course, it offers just a little bit more coverage, but I think for just this particular shade and also rose latte, you don't need to have two layers. One layer is good enough. Now for comparisons, I think a couple of people wanted to know Vanilla Cream compared to Ginger Milk Tea, how are they different? I took off the two layers of Vanilla Cream and I'm gonna reapply half my lip and the other half with Ginger Milk Tea. So this one is Vanilla Cream. Okay, so this half is Vanilla Cream and the other half I'm gonna go in with Ginger Milk Tea. Vanilla cream is on this side and ginger milk tea is on this side. What do you guys think? Based on the swatches and what's on my lips, I think the difference is truly that ginger milk tea is more orange and is definitely more brighter in a sense, a little bit more obvious. So if you're the type of person that don't really like to show that, you're, oh, I'm wearing lipstick or lip tint, then I think vanilla cream will be a nice alternative that is truly a my lips but better kind of color. These two look really different, but apparently on my lips, personally, I find that these two are pretty Pretty similar. Okay, wait, hold on. If I move away further from y'all, don't you think they look pretty similar in a sense? Like you don't, I don't think you need these two colors personally. I'm gonna be like that one guy we all know who was like, oh, this shade of magenta and this shade of maroon, they are the same kind of purple. No, they're not, but <laughs> this. This is really a little bit too close. Okay, with another layer added on, I think these two are a little bit more obvious that they are different colors. They are almost like, not sisters, but they're like cousins, almost. Ginger milk tea is slightly more obvious because that orange kind of color is peeking through much more obviously. And for vanilla cream, definitely that nudie color, mutantness does come through more. Personally, they give off a very similar vibe. So if this is kind of your jam, you want more lip tints in this kind of color, then yes, you can reach out for it, but honestly, a little bit too close to my liking. We're moving on to the next color, which is Rose Latte, going in with one layer first. 
Okay, so this is how Rose Latte looks like on me, one layer. And definitely, it looks much more pinkish, much more brighter, a little bit, a tad bit compared to vanilla cream, but still very, very wearable for daily wear. I'm gonna swatch Rose Latte next to vanilla cream over here. We're gonna swatch it right on top. Like that. So this is Rose Latte and it's still drying down but as you can see it's definitely much more mm, a slight bit brighter and definitely way much more pinkish. Between the two colours over here, which one do you guys prefer more? Personally, I prefer Rose Latte just a little bit more because this is truly my lips for better colour. I feel that vanilla cream does wash me out a little bit but Rose Latte just adds that little bit of colour to my lips and it's almost as if I'm not wearing lip tint or lipstick almost. I'm gonna go in with one more layer. So this is the second layer of Rose Latte on me and what do you guys think? I personally really really like this colour much more compared to Vanilla Cream. If given the choice, I will just purchase Rose Latte because this really just does it for me and even pairs so well with my eye look today. I'm wearing something slightly more mauve a little bit more cool tone today and it still looks so good and it kind of reminds me a little bit of this Kat Von D uh, liquid lipstick shade that I used to have which I think was Lolita. Too, if I am not wrong, I threw it away already. But it gives me that vibe, but much more on the rosy pinkish side of things, which it is very beautiful and also even much more comfortable than Kat Von D lipsticks. And for Rose Latte, I will be comparing it to Midnight Mauve. These two colors are probably the closest to one another. Again, I removed my lip tint, so I'm just gonna go in back in with one more layer of Rose Latte and then going in with one layer of Midnight Mauve. So Midnight Moth on this side and Rose Latte on this side. What do you guys think? Between these two colours, they are both pinks. But Midnight Moth is the pinkish moth kind of colour and it's slightly a little bit more saturated. And compared to Rose Latte, like the name suggests, Rose, I think this is more of like a pink rose colour. So it's, there's a little bit of a colour difference. These two are probably very very similar and very very close to one another. It's just that the undertone of colours is slightly different. But tonally, I think they are pretty close to one another. If I were to add the second layer on later on, I think it will be a little bit more obvious but if it's one layer alone by itself with such like good coverage and everything, this is really too close to one another. Okay, so let's just go in with the second layer. So the second layer is on for both colours and what do you guys think? Let me swatch Midnight Moth next to Rose Latte for you guys. This is Midnight Moth and this is Rose Latte. You can tell that these two colours are really really close to one another. Do you see that if Etude House had released these four as a quad of lip tints, I would think they're in the same collection of family. Of course, it's just all like a marketing thing, I guess. They are coming really, really close to duping themselves. It's just that Rose Latte looks a little bit more wearable when you don't have any makeup on. Other than that, the vibe and everything, it's quite similar. It's just that Rose Latte is a little bit more toned down. So it's much more wearable when it comes to wearing um, no makeup, for example, and you wear Rose Latte, looks really good. Um, Midnight Moth, it's a little bit more obvious that, that oh, you're wearing lip sync, which honestly, nothing wrong as well. But I think that they are too close to one another and if you own one or the other, you don't need the other. Now that I think about it, I do keep Midnight Moth quite often in my work bag. So I guess I could use the Rose Latte one coexistingly as well because they look really really similar to one another. If you're wondering, Crystal, should I pick up this new collection? If you own either Ginger Milk Tea or Midnight Moth, I don't think you need to buy this because honestly, when you swatch it out like this, they look really different on the head, not gonna lie. But on the lips, they look really really similar. So I'm gonna be realistic with you guys and I say pass. However, if you have not picked up any of either Ginger Milk Tea or Midnight Moth and you're wanting something a little bit more toned down, you don't want people to know that you're wearing lipstick or lip tint, then yes, I think you can check out the new collection for Vanilla Cream and Rose Latte. Thank you so much for hanging out with me today. Do help me out by leaving a like, subscribe down below, also to ring the bell. The bell keeps you notified on when I upload. I usually upload on Fridays, so you can keep a lookout for that as well. And I will see you guys in my next video. Stay safe. Bye-bye.